AEW is going to make our debut in London, England, Sunday, August 27th for the first ever AEW All In. Hello friends, my name is Stephanie Chase. Thank you for joining me. We are 17 weeks away from AEW All In at Wembley Stadium in London. And this channel is the place that you need to be plugged into for all the latest updates on AEW's massive UK show. I'm gonna be bringing you all the biggest news on All In as soon as I get it. So stay tuned because today we have an update on ticket pricing and seating for All In at Wembley. Now, All In is, of course, taking place on Sunday, August 27th. As we've established, it's at Wembley Stadium. Now, some of what people have been most asking me is, of course, about ticket prices and seating. So we have a bit of an update on that. Today, I found a link on Ticketmaster that gave us a venue map and venue pricing. Now, it is important to note that Ticketmaster took the page down not long after I shared the link, but I did take screenshots so I can give you all the information that that had. Firstly, it showed this venue map, which seems like AEW are trying to sell out the entirety of Wembley Stadium. That's probably upwards of 90,000 people they want to get in there. There had been another map floating around that was totally debunked. It was from like a pink concert or something that made it look like they were going for another number. But no, they're trying to sell as many tickets as they can for this event. So the map was color coded and there were different pricing levels. So the lowest price tickets, which are a pink like fuchsia color, that's £30. Those are including booking fees. Then the next price up from that is £45 plus booking fees. Then we get to 70 plus booking fees, 100, 125, 175, 400. And then those super close to ringside tickets, they are £1,500. Now, what you get with those is a commemorative chair, like you've seen at many events before, that you can take home with you. They're also selling a family ticket that will be £100. That includes booking fees, and they are to be booked in fours. So, given the fact that Ticketmaster removed the page, maybe they just put the page up too early. So, I don't want to say that this is completely definitive, because they have taken down the page, but that is what they released earlier on Tuesday, April 25th. There's also some information on the on sale times. So the AW VIP shop, they, the tickets go on sale there from Tuesday the 2nd of May at 9 a.m. until 11 a.m. So that would give you two hours ahead of those that have used the pre-registration link to register for pre-sale tickets. That link, those tickets go on sale Tuesday, May the 2nd at 11 a.m. And that sale stops on the 4th of May at 8 a.m. Then if you have O2 priority, tickets will be on sale from Wednesday, 3rd of May at 9 a.m. until Friday, May 5th at 8 a.m. Live Nations pre-sale is from th the Thursday at 9 a.m. until the Friday at 8 a.m. Then as said, the Ticketmaster pre-sale, that's Thursday at 9 a.m. until Friday at 8 a.m. AW Partners, they go on sale May the 4th, the Thursday at 9 a.m. until the Friday at 8 a.m. And then the general on sale is Friday, May the 5th at 9 a.m. UK time. So if you haven't registered for any of these pre-sales, be in front of your computer there. But there are so many pre-sale options that you can go for. And I'm going to put them in the link in the description box if you want to really try and ensure that you don't miss out on good tickets. Uh, record according to reports from DF Meltzer, over 55,000 people have already signed up for pre-registration. So that is so so awesome and if these prices are correct they do look really good especially when you compare them to wwe's prices for clash at the castle which were quite a lot more it is worth noting that live nation previously said that tickets will cost between 30 pounds and 500 pounds minus fees now i made an inquiry to live nation a couple of weeks ago asking about prices that is what they told me so what we've seen now from this Ticketmaster page is pretty close. Like the lowest tickets are £30. Um, the highest tickets then are actually £400 if you don't include the special £1,500 ones. Now, as far as other events happening around All In, Revolution Pro Wrestling have confirmed that they will run a show the day before, that's this Saturday, and they will be announcing details on that very soon. Another thing I wanted to note is people have been asking me, how can I watch All In if I can't attend live? The answer is, we don't know. So AW did not describe All In as a pay-per-view when they announced it in a press release. And if you look at the press release for Forbidden Door, they did clearly state that that is a pay-per-view. So, I think that it's probably going to air as a TV special in the US or on the new Max streaming service. So we'll await news on that. But I don't see it, A, not being aired. Like, I don't see it being as a house show. 
Um, and I don't actually see it being as a pay-per-view that you have to pay for it, given that it really does look like they're going to do all out like the next week. So that's asking people to pay a lot. So I'm thinking TV special um, or either on TNT or TBS or the new streaming service. In the UK, we usually get AW pay-per-views on Fight. There's no word on whether All In will air on Fight. Um, however, given the scale of the show, I wouldn't be too surprised if it goes on an ITV channel, which also airs Dynamite, or the ITVX streaming service. That's not out of the question for me. So, so far, there's no definitive answer on where we can actually watch All In. So that is the latest news on All In for you. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. If you're not subscribed already, please give this video a like, leave me a comment. All that stuff helps me in the algorithm and, you know, share it on Twitter, Reddit, wherever, um, so more people people can find my channel and keep up to date with all the news that we get about All In. But until next time, bye!